folks, Papa Joe here. How do you like my fancy curtain? Yesterday it was a shirt. <laughs> and next week it'll be a shirt. Or whenever I get home, let Mama wash it. That old son was tearing us up. I had no intentions of making a video this morning. I'm sitting here patiently waiting on my clock. I got about 15 minutes and I. A 10 hour break will be up. I'll be a trucking. So, I'm reading Facebook, emails, morning routine. Y'all probably got your own. I uh, come across a little bit that I wanted to share. You're surprised, right? Actually, you know, I had. Uh, did a couple posts about that 72 hour road check and uh, and one of them might have made reference excuse me one of them I'd made reference about how in the beginning they had helped us and uh, I was reading my landline magazine and if y'all ain't a member of uh, OOIDA, Owner Operators Independent Truckers Association, I suggest you get to be one. It's not that expensive. They do a lot of fighting for us. Uh, they're our main voice in D.C. anymore. And uh, they also have this Landline Magazine. It comes out every day. And it gives you the latest information on what's going on and or you can go into their website and they got a lot of useful tools in there so uh, oh idea is a good thing and you ought to consider joining up I don't remember what it is a year it ain't it's chump change here's a uh, article from them a low mass Massachusetts Base Trucking Company has been placed out of service following violations of safety regulations regarding maintenance of its trucks. <coughs> Excuse me. According to the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration. In fact, the agency inspected six of seven trucks owned by the company and flunked all six. The seventh truck was not roadworthy due to a crash. So everything bumped. That was my words. Flavo Boris Padreo whatever was doing business as Golden Eagle Delivery I've seen their trucks was subject to an FMCSA investigation in April after the company failed to submit to a new, new entry safety audit upon receiving an order to cease operations, the company completed the new entry safety audit nullifying the order. Later that same month, a truck owned by Flavo Borges Pedro rode down a hill, crashed into a residential housing structure, and injured the driving after the parking brake failed. Significant damage was done to the property. A brake failure on a second truck owned by the company occurred approximately one month later, resulting in the vehicle breaking down on the roadway and requiring the assistance of a tow truck. An FMCSA safety investigation found Flavo Bordes Borges Poedre to be in violation of the following. Failure to ensure that its vehicles were regularly inspected, maintained, and repaired and met minimum safety standards. Failure to require that drivers conduct pre and post trip vehicles inspection and submit reports to safety of safety defects to the company in order to make repairs. 
and dispatching vehicles with known safety defects that had been discovered during roadside inspections without making required repairs. So I ain't had my morning milk yet. Uh, FMCASA inspected six or seven vehicles owned by Pedro and found out of service violations in every one. Violations included worn, leaking, welded, or missing brake, steering, and or suspension components. The seventh vehicle was not inspected since it was inoperable following a crash. You know, one of these one ran into the building. An investigation revealed the company did not have records proving it had a vehicle maintenance program. Label Borges Prodre was served the out of service order on June 9th. Okay, you know, I can't pronounce the guy's name, but I can damn sure drive a truck and I got a half a clue of one's safe and legal. Folks, there's too many trucking companies out here to uh, let somebody put you in harm's way. And that's exactly what this guy's doing. Uh, chances are he's hiring a bunch of immigrants, and I don't mean that in a bad way at all. Uh, just because they're immigrants don't mean they're illegal. I worked for a company in Chicago. Well, I worked for a guy in Chicago that was leased on to a company in Chicago. And that guy had a bunch of people from Czechoslovakia and all this. And they was all here legal. They did have issues speaking English and all this. And I had to, I had met with some of them at different shippers and receivers and whatnot and helped them out. Uh, on a more than one occasion. The good story behind one of those meetings too. I'll tell you someday. But that old boy, he New York City guy, and he was screwing them drivers. Oh man, something terrible. They really didn't have a clue. They was trying, and. Uh, that's probably what this guy's doing. That right there reminds me of back in the day. I mean, it really does. I mean, we all know there's a few of them kind of companies floating around. They ain't worth a damn. They really ain't. And boys and girls, if you find yourself working for a company that won't fix stuff on your truck, you need to cut and run. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's better to be unemployed and looking for a job than to be dead. And that's what, and not only dead, uh, if you get busted out on the road with these kind of trucks, with this new uh, CVSA score nonsense they got going on, you get a bunch of points. I uh, was with that rock and roll outfit, Artisan. And uh, I wound up having like three DOT inspections. And I was only with them like six months. And every one of them, me and my paperwork in the truck was fine. But they hammered me on different stuffs on the trailer. And I was constantly trying to get that trailer fixed. At that time, that company was trying, oh man, let's just get a another show man let's get it past this next show and I was having to fight and force them to fix their trailer and of course they're trying to fix it out here at TA's and all this TA's about a joke for any real repairs they are part changers uh, but anyway uh, I started talking to a couple other companies about going over and because of these three inspections 
maybe it was two of them and one with another one. But it, was, it had only been minor stuff that had been rolled up. And this one company that I really wanted to go with, they said, we can't use you. I said, really? You know, I have a fairly impressive record behind me, folks. I ain't some dumbass rookie that just racked up a bunch of points. And they said, no, man, your CVS score is getting pretty high. And I said, really? That shook me to the roots. I ain't going to lie. I was like, you got to be kidding me. So uh, I started investigating it a little bit, and I said, this ain't going to work. So I decided to come with this company, got this computer log. Not that I had any points on me against the logbook violation, all that. I didn't. Uh, all that stuff was all nice and hunky-dory. But uh, it opened my eyes up to this new CVSA score nonsense that we're having to deal with and it's been out here a little bit this is just first time that it reared its head in my occasion and uh, I said nope the old dinosaur is going to have to step up into modern times and that's what I've done I came over here with this company I talked to them and I was honest with them about what that other company had said about my CBSA score they said, we're not worried about that. They said, we guarantee you get over here with us and yours will get better because ours got better. That's why they went with electronic logs and everything else. They was getting hammered on different stuff. And uh, the owner, old outlaw type guy back in the day, he was kind of like me. Oh, no, this ain't going to work we got to figure out something new so some of them younger ones I guess said hey how about and he says well let's try and it's worked so that's why you don't hear me on here complaining and carrying on about this electronic log overall it helps me it makes it like right now I'm sitting here yes there's a day that I would have been going nuts Hot dog seeing that just zeroed out. That tells me my 10 hour break's up. So now I can go on duty. But uh, there used to be a lot of them companies out here like that, that old boy. There's not very many, but they can still be found. And if you find yourself being forced to work for that kind of company you need to cut and run those kind of companies when I drove for them and I have drove for them but not for very long because I started trying to figure out <laughs> that was my luck I started trying to figure out an escape real quick so uh, I would do my pre-trips and post-trips and I logged stuff on that uh, log book and I let everybody know hey I checked this out and this sucks this is what's broke them companies hate you documenting it like that they hate it because it's forcing their hand to have to repair it however they get mad all they want it's covering your butt so so yeah folks them companies are still out here you need to be very leery of them. Very leery of them. I got to go to work. Y'all have a blessed day. Be very safe out there. Do your pre-trips, post-trips. Most of all, remember God loves you, and so does Papa Joe. Bye now.